So the number one question I get with cards, what's it worth? How much is this? What can I get for this? Hey, I just pulled this in my car in a parking lot. Who wants to buy it? Today, I'm going to show you very quickly and easily how you can find out how much a card is worth. And we're going to use an example and go right through it. You can do it with a minimal amount of information as long as you have the card. So pictured, it's just a prism LeBron, LeBron James. I'm going to say I don't know anything else about the card. It's just a prism LeBron James. So first thing you do is you go to eBay. You type in prism LeBron James. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull up a bunch of different things. And so you're looking for the card that looks like your card. Here's one right here. Second one up. 2019, 2020, Panini, Prism, Base, Lakers, LeBron James, number 129. And so the key pieces of information that you want to pull when you're looking through this list of cards is you want the name, the year, the manufacturer, the brand, and the player's number. So we can just click on this link. And so we're going to copy all the pertinent information that we need, copy it, and we'll search for it again. And now you'll notice there's a lot of different cards listed that are the same. And so we've got all the information that we need to look up a price. A lot of people are going to go to sold listings. There's a better way to do it. See this price with a line through it and it didn't sell for 60. It could have sold for 30 cents for all we know. Luckily, the boys over at sellthepeak.com built a search engine to look through this data and pull out what cards are sold for. So we're going to paste all that information right back in. Hit go. And right down here, it's going to pop up all the different cards that have all this information in it for sold. So we have one that's sold today at 6.15 in the morning for $45. We have another one that was an auction that sold for $40 with $4.20 shipping. You can also click on the links to see whether or not this is going to be a legitimate sale. And so what I mean by that is oftentimes you'll see sellers that have zero, two, five different sales. And so it's hard to trust that number. So someone with 61 and a star usually means that they're a seller. This one's a newer account. And then you can probably assume that the price is okay. Also, when you're looking through this, you know, you see some of these like 129, 295. It's going to pull some hits within here that are not the card that you have. So you have this card, but you don't have a PSA 10. So it's not $295 because you you don't have the PSA 10. You just have the base. You don't have the PSA 9 you know, or the BGS. And so you can ignore those, but you can look at the rest. So we have one that sold at one in the morning for 30. Someone accepted the best offer. That one that we looked at that said 60, someone took 30 on it. This one had nine, nine people auctions. And so you can continue scrolling down for as many hits as there's going to be on the card to see how the pricing has changed over time. So on the 15th, we had one that sold for 30 and 55 and another one with 50, for example. And so that's a quick way to find out how much your card is worth going from just the card that you have in your hand the front of it and looking up the details.